Hey everybody, welcome back to the Crown Tundra DLC. We are on a brand new night, so that means different weather. And we got a clear sky over by Kabalian, so we're gonna try to get him today. Uh, I'm gonna bring out Spark Pup because I wanna paralyze this thing. And hopefully not get knocked out too badly. Swords dance. Oh, Crunch shouldn't take it out. But he's gonna get a boost from Justified. Swords Dance. I mean, he's just Swords Dancing. I mean, his attack is going to go up anyway because he's going to keep doing this like all the other ones. So, I'm just helping him get there faster. <laughs> Paralyze. Perfect. Hopefully, he doesn't crit, which would be hilarious. Sword dancing again. Wow, his attack is already maxed out already. Oh god. Iron head. I oh, think that will knock it out? Yeah. Iron head's probably one of its weaker moves. Damn. I don't know, keep, keep using sword dance. By all means, help me out a little bit. Ah, I was hoping for a survive. Alright, let's bring out Panda, and I'm pretty sure Panda can get one shot by this thing. Sadly, because of the dark typing. We're gonna go for false swipe and see how much I can take off of it. Close combat. Yeah, that's dead. Oh. Good job, Panda. Good job. Whew. That's, that's a, a clutch maneuver by Panda. Surviving on 1 HP. Alright. It can't hit itself unless it runs out of its PP, so we're both on one health. <laughs> we just have to hope. And hoping didn't work. No, Panda! <laughs> I have to be very careful, because at this stage in the game, Kavalian is like max stat attack points. And I'm pretty sure he can probably one-shot most of my team. So I'm probably going to have to use a bunch of max revives. Because he does not want to go in. Uh, Iron Head's not too bad. Still pretty powerful. Though. No. The paralyzing helps. I'm gonna dip down below 700 Pokeballs at this rate. Yep, that's that, man. Ooh. Ooh. That's brutal. You did good, Cinnabon. Yeah, hung in there. Uh, nevermore. He blends into this area so well. Now, I don't know if I've ever tried it, but if you hit something with false swipe when it's on 1 HP, will it kill it? I don't know if I've ever 
tried. That shouldn't be shit all. Since you're surviving, I kind of want to heal you up. Take the chance that it might paralyze itself or go for a cheeky swords dance, even though it doesn't do anything for you anymore. Okay, he's going for close combat. God. The damage on that thing. Should probably bring something with really high HP. He's dead. <sighs> Let's see if you can survive long enough for me to heal some people, Freezer. Max uh, revive you. Come hit me, please. Swords dance. Cool. I can get at least one more heal. I don't think I should bring back Panda, because he gets knocked out way too easily. I mean, if he runs out of com uh, close combat or Sacred Sword, he might be able to survive a little bit. Keep doing your thing, Kabalion. Damn it, eh? Good time. Just keeps popping up. Oh, thank you for surviving. Just that little extra bit. You did good, Freezy. I don't know what to do. I'm I Obviously, like, throwing better Pokeballs is the easiest way to do it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> because that's why! Yes! <laughs> oh my god, that was perfectly timed. But Mark, you should always use Ultra Balls or Master Balls or stuff like that. No! Pokeballs! And Pokeballs only. <laughs> I blame the anime for getting me using Pokeball only. Even though... Ash... Ash has at least one Pokemon that's not in a normal Pokeball, and that's Totodile. I wonder if they've ever messed that up in the anime. Like... Uh... Like when he's like brought back Totodile for like a random match or whatever, if they forgot to make his Pokeball into was it a lore ball? I think it was a lore ball. But anyway, um now that we have that, we can now focus on trying to get the other fossil Pokemon. Holy crap, Cinnabons, I just pushed him in through the door. Because I pretty much got most of the Pokemon, besides ones that involve like weather effects and the rest of the legendaries. I still have six legendaries to get. Except I just remembered that uh, I'm pretty sure after you defeat uh, Spectre or the other one here, uh, you can get the Cosmog. So let's jump in here real quick and see if that's a thing. Thank you for protecting the village from that awful bully of a Pokemon. I think I can trust you to take good care of my dear Foofy. Would you be willing to do that? I'm half tempted to call this thing Foofy. <laughs> I wonder how many people... I guarantee you some people call that thing Foofy. Uh, also, for those that don't know, in order to get the Ultra Beast to show up in the Den Adventures, you have to complete uh, all the legendary like adventure things here, and then they unlock. Uh, you'll get like a, a thing when you go there, they'll talk about how the, what is it called, Ultra Wormhole, 
opened up. Well, that's cool. I can get a I can get a Lunala because that's uh, the only one I'm missing. I I already have this Pokemon, or I had it until I evolved it. Yeah, there it is. And I still need to evolve it into Lunala, but I can't remember. <laughs> I have these already. <laughs> oh god. So let's go talk to. Um, what is her name? God, I forget her name now. Sonya, that's it. Isn't that the Iron Wool? Um, bang up job mark, and then you can do it. And sure, there I go again, but it's so hard to contain my excitement. Here, take this for giving me the chance to see this legendary Pokemon in the flesh. Okay, so I'll probably get large ones for getting the other one. There's just one more legendary Pokemon we haven't tracked down yet. I I already have it. <laughs> that Pokemon, I knew it. That's the Cavern Pokemon Terraconian. I'll never get that Pokemon's name right. We did it. This is just amazing. Who's the greatest professor in Galar now? Er, uh, don't tell my grand I said that, would you? But I couldn't be happier about what we've done here. I hope you'll take this little reward. Thanks, Sonya. It's all thanks to you, Mark, that I was able to prove my theory was correct. Thank you so much. You'd make a first-rate assistant for my work if you weren't already the champion. You know, there's an old legend about Kalalian, Terraconian, Verizian. It said that to protect our allies, they waged battle against humans bent on destruction. And ever since then, they've kept themselves apart from humanity. But the fact remains that they agreed to become your Pokemon, Mark. I guess maybe they're willing to give humanity another chance. It warms your heart a bit, doesn't it? Now then, enough dithering about. I've got to get back home to write this all up. I'll be seeing you around, Mark. Don't catch cold in this freezing place. And have fun with your own adventures. Come on, Yamper. You and me are heading home. What about the Beldum? Is Beldum just gonna st <laughs> Beldum's just like, okay, fine, leave me. <laughs> oh god. Uh, so now that I have those three, I can actually spawn in Keldeo, which Keldeo spawns down by the tree, if I'm correct. So we're going to go here, we're going to take out the Pokemon, and then in the next episode, we'll make some curry, and hopefully that's all I have to do to spawn it. I'm pretty sure that's all I have to do. What is this? There's Pokemon evidence unlike any you've found before. Okay. Was that something that I could have shown Sonya? Or is that something that didn't show up until now? Got candy. Yeah. There's Pokemon evidence unlike any you've found before. Alright. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like. Comment, share, and subscribe, and come on back for the next episode when we try to catch Keldeo. Until then, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.